Have you ever wondered how your favorite beer is made? Imagine for a moment a world without beer, a world without the frothy golden liquid that has been a staple of human culture for millennia. A world where social gatherings are void of those shared moments over a pint, where the end of a long day doesn't have the reward of a cold brew. It's almost unimaginable, isn't it? Beer, in its many forms, has long been a cornerstone of society. It's a symbol of camaraderie, a tool for relaxation, and a testament to human ingenuity. And it's this very ingenuity that might have sparked a curiosity within you. A curiosity about the origins of this beloved beverage, about the process that transforms simple ingredients into a complex symphony of flavours. Well, wonder no more, because today we unravel the fascinating process behind brewing beer. Beer, in its essence, is a simple beverage made from four basic ingredients. Let's delve into the heart of this brew, shall we? At the very core of beer is water. Yes, it's that simple. Water makes up around 95% of beer, serving as the base in which all other ingredients mingle and marry. The quality of water, its mineral content and its pH levels play a significant role in defining the unique taste of the beer. The same recipe brewed with water from different regions can yield remarkably different beers, each with its own distinct character. The second ingredient is barley. Barley provides the sugars necessary for fermentation and contributes to the beer's colour, body and malty sweetness. Before barley can be used, it must be malted, a process involving soaking, germinating and drying. This releases the sugars and enzymes that will later play a crucial role in the brewing process. Next up, we have hops. These little green flowers are the soul of beer, imparting bitterness to balance the sweetness of the malt and lending an array of flavours and aromas from floral to fruity, earthy to spicy and everything in between. Hops also act as a natural preservative, extending the shelf life of the beer. Finally, we come to yeast. This humble microorganism is the invisible powerhouse behind beer. Yeast consumes the sugars from malted barley and transforms them into alcohol and carbon dioxide through a process called fermentation. Along the way, it also produces a variety of flavor compounds that can make a beer taste fruity, spicy, or even a bit funky. Each one of these ingredients plays a unique and vital role in creating the diverse world of beer we know and love today. But having these ingredients is just the start. The true magic lies in the brewing process. Our journey begins with barley and a process called malting. This is where the magic starts. Picture humble barley grains bathed in water and left alone to sprout. This sprouting or germination is the first step in our malting journey. What's happening here, you wonder? Well, the barley is developing enzymes crucial little catalysts that will later convert the grain's starches into fermentable sugars. These sugars are the sweet beginnings of our beer, the stuff that will eventually be transformed into alcohol. But first, we need to stop the germination. This is where the kiln comes into play. The sprouted barley is dried in a kiln, halting the germination process but preserving those all-important enzymes. And voila! we have malted barley, a key ingredient in our brewing adventure. It's a simple process, but one that underpins the whole art of beer making. With our malted barley ready, it's time to move on to the next stage. Now we come to a crucial stage in brewing, the mash. This is where the malted barley that's been carefully nurtured and toasted meets its destiny. It's time to take that grain and transform it into something truly magical. Imagine a large vat filled with pure hot water. Into this, we add our malted barley, stirring it in until it's fully submerged. This process is lovingly referred to as mashing. It's not just a case of mixing water and barley together, though. Oh no, this is where science comes into play, and it's truly fascinating. You see, during the malting process, we woke up some dormant enzymes in the barley. Now, as we introduce it to the hot water, these enzymes really begin to stir. They start working overtime, breaking down the remaining starches found in the barley. And what do these starches become? They transform into sugars. Yes, sugars. This is why the mash is such an essential step. It's our way of sweetening the deal, so to speak. We're creating a concoction that's not only full of potential alcohol, but also has a delightful sweetness to it. This sweet, sugary liquid that's left behind is what we call wort. Now, the wort doesn't stay in the mash tun forever. We drain it off, capturing all the sugary goodness. 
It's at this point we say goodbye to the spent grain, it's job well done, but for the wort the journey is only just beginning. You see, the wort is the base of our beer. It's the canvas upon which we'll paint our masterpiece. It's sweet, it's full of potential, but it's not quite beer yet. It lacks the bitterness to balance out the sweetness, and it lacks the alcohol that gives beer its kick. But don't worry, we're getting there. With our wort prepared, we're ready to introduce another key player, the hops. The next stage will take our sweet wort and start transforming it into something recognizably beer-like. But that's a story for another scene. The wort is now boiled and this is where our hops come in. It's showtime for the hops, those green cone-like flowers that are the unsung heroes of the beer world. The boiling wort that sweet, malty liquid we've so carefully crafted from our barley mash is about to get an injection of bitterness, flavour and aroma, courtesy of our hops. Now you might be wondering, why do we add hops during boiling? Well, it's all about balance. The malt we've used is naturally sweet, and without something to counteract that sweetness, our beer would be more akin to a syrupy dessert than a refreshing beverage. The bitterness of hops provides the perfect counterpoint, ensuring that our beer is harmoniously balanced. But hops aren't just about bitterness. They also bring a wealth of flavour and aroma to the party. Depending on the variety, hops can impart notes of citrus, pine, floral or even tropical fruit to our beer. It's these nuanced flavours and aromas that make each beer unique and captivating. Adding hops to the boiling wort also serves a practical purpose. The heat from the boil extracts and activates the essential oils and resins within the hops, which would otherwise remain dormant. It's these oils and resins that contribute the bitterness and the distinctive aroma we associate with beer. Once our hops have done their job, the wort needs to be cooled down. This isn't just about making it safe to handle. Cooling the wort quickly helps to prevent the growth of any wild yeasts or bacteria that could spoil our beer. It also helps to clarify the beer, ensuring that it's as clear and bright as we want it to be. We've now got our cooled, hop-infused wort, but we're missing one last ingredient, yeast. This humble microorganism is the magic that will turn our sweet, hoppy wort into the glorious beverage we call beer. But that, my friends, is a story for another scene. With the addition of yeast, our beer begins to truly take form. Ah, yeast, the unsung hero of the brewing world. This tiny organism is added to our wort, the sweet liquid extracted from the mash, and it's here that the magic of fermentation begins. No magic wand, no incantations, just a sprinkling of yeast, and the transformation begins. This yeast, a hard-working microbe, has one primary goal, to consume the sugars present in the wort. As it feasts upon these sugars, it produces two highly important byproducts, alcohol and carbon dioxide. It's this process that gives beer its characteristic kick and effervescence. The transformation doesn't happen overnight. It's a process that takes time and patience. Depending on the type of beer being brewed, fermentation can last anywhere from a few days to several weeks. It's during this time that the beer develops its unique flavors and aromas each one dancing in harmony with the others. But beer's journey doesn't end with fermentation. Once the yeast has worked its magic, the beer is aged. This aging process, which can last anywhere from a few weeks to several months, allows the flavors to meld and mature. It's a delicate dance, a waiting game that brewers play to bring out the best in their brews. Once the beer has aged to perfection, it's time for the final steps, filtration and bottling. The beer is carefully filtered to remove any remaining solids, leaving behind a clear, crisp liquid. It's then transferred to bottles, where it awaits its final destination, the hands of beer lovers around the world. And there you have it, from grain to glass, the captivating journey of beer production. A process that combines science, art and a bit of magic to create a beverage that has been cherished for thousands of years. So, the next time you raise your glass, take a moment to appreciate the journey that your beer has been on. It's a journey that's as complex and satisfying as the brew itself.